everybody, I'm Steph Cook and I'm a wellness and lifestyle coach. I work with career driven women who really want something more out of life. And I wanted to share a quick story with you today. So I had a good friend of mine visiting me this weekend and we were talking about social media. She works in communications and she kind of is a little bit averse to social media and conversely, I'm on social media all the time because I run an online business. And so we were talking about the results of a study that she had read and how the study said that, you know, social media provides this great platform for people to engage in meaningful conversations and have social dialogue and all of these things and that while the platform is there, it just, it, in reality, it just falls short. And most of the conversations that are had are very superficial. And the reason that they believe that is, is because, you know, everyone kind of has those few friends, maybe just one friend who turns everything into an argument or kind of gets inflammatory and, you know, you don't want to deal with that person. So you don't want to engage in anything that maybe is polarizing. And when she said that, I was like, Oh my God, that is so true. Cause I do the same thing and I'm on social media all the time. And so when she left on Monday, I decided, you know what? I'm just going to put myself out there. So I was on LinkedIn and I was reading this article about uh, women in the workplace and specifically working mothers. And I decided to share some of my experience from when I was working as an engineer and I, you know, had kind of a bad experience with working mothers and I really worried that I wouldn't be able to be a successful career woman and a successful mother at the same time. And I know that that is a concern that a lot of women have and a lot of women share. And so, you know, I just put it out there and I shared my experience and I was very open. I was very honest. And as I'm kind of typing it out, I'm getting really, really nervous about, you know, should I share this? What am I doing? Is this the wrong thing to do? You know, is this going to be awful for my business? Like, what am I doing? And I kind of just like close my eyes and hit that send button and off it went. And it was kind of out of my hands at that point. Right. I was like, well, it's done, it's done now. It's on the internet, not coming back down. So uh, I just opened myself up to potentially a huge can of worms. And I waited for that little notification light to come on and sure enough, it came on and the woman who had wrote the blog post had replied back to my comment. And as soon as I saw that, I just, literally my stomach just dropped. I just felt this huge pit in my stomach. Like, Oh my gosh, like what is this going to be? And sure enough, I went to the comment that she had left and she just kind of laid into me. She really kind of blasted me and told me that I was part of the problem and really invalidated my, or tried to invalidate my experience. And told me that as a coach, you know, I should be, I should have a broader perspective. And all I could think was, <laughs> well, there were two things I could think. The first was why the hell did I do this to myself? Because now I'm like really worked up and I'm really angry. And the other thing is, you know, I was trying to start a meaningful discussion about this real issue for women. And you're just shutting down my point of view because it doesn't agree with yours and it doesn't agree with your experience. And God, that sucks. You know, there is not a space for women to have these conversations. And so I got to thinking and what I have decided to do is to start a women's uh, closed group on Facebook for professional women to have some of these conversations, not just about work, but about life, about, you know, the things that stress you out and how you are struggling to make it to the gym after working 10 hours a day, or, you know, how you're managing to keep your, um, keep away from the vending machine in the afternoon or, you know, different tips and different advice that you can give to other women. And I really want it to be a place to engage other women, not for networking purposes, necessarily, but just to have really dialogue about these issues and share our experiences across industries, across worlds, across life experiences. I think it's so, so important. So I want to ask you, 
invite you to join me in doing this, you can join me at bit.ly.com slash intentional balance group. Again, that's bit.ly, B-I-T-L-Y dot com forward slash intentional balance group. And I can't wait to get started and have some really great discussions and meet some really fantastic women. So thanks again, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.